Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well. In this video, I will talk about a new feature which is an app. If you upgrade your version to 10.39 or more than that, you will see a new toggle or new application which is called a human resource in your environment. Don't get confused by looking at the name. It looks like it is a whole human resource app, but it is not. It is just a leave and absence, absence application which is built on powered powered platform or powered apps. So what it does, it actually uh, you know helps user or employee to create a request, leave request, or cancel a web request or approve a web request in a efficient matter, a manner. So before I you know jump or deep dive into the product demo. I will just like to talk about how to install it. So basically, uh, I won't spend a lot of time how to install it. But if you have, if you see this link in the uh, Microsoft documentation, Dynamics 65 Human Resource App for Leave and Absence, if you follow this process, you will be able to install this app. There is no coding record. It's just a few steps from the Power Platform Admin Center, and you will be able to install it. I will, I will not spend a lot of time to install it. So if you if you just go through these uh, steps, you will be able to install it. Okay. So let's talk about the core functionality. So what is this about? Uh, what if this application is not there? How employees request leaves, right? And how the leaves are approved from the application? I will just talk about. So if you go to human resource module, and you will see employee self service, right? And this employee self service uh, user or employee they can see your request time off from the uh, you know time of balances tab so if you click on this three dots view all balances you will be able to see all the current balance and available balance what will be the carry forward balance accrual rate right so those will be available and visible in this application so there is no change right so it is it will still be there still employee can use it and if they want to request you know leave they can request from here request time off they can select time leave type annual leave or any leave start date end date and they can submit <clears throat> and the approvers will approve it this process still can be followed there is no sunset or this will not be shut down <clears throat> okay the change is this activity can be done you know in efficient manner in a different application which is integrated with microsoft dynamics is your finance and operation so if i go back and if i click on this human resource since it is installed it will take me to that application itself okay so i have already opened it rather than wasting time so once you click on so it is opening still. So if you click on this human resource app, it will take you to this application, which is built on Power Platform. So it is absolutely same, data is same, right? But the graphical presentation is more you know, efficient or better, I would say, when it comes to the Power Apps. So it's built on the model-driven app in Power App. So from here, what we can do, I employee can see their bucket wise leave, what is available, right? How many are taken this year and what will be accrued annually, right? From here, employee can request annual leave. So how to do that? Say I employee will request a leave for say 18th of December till you know uh, 20th of december or maybe 19th of december uh, you can select reason code like leave study child care click on add and further drop down will be coming like edit they can click on edit days from here they can add a comment like for vacation they can attach file from here and then once that is done they can click on next right and they can click on cancel save as draft or submit once this is fine they can click on submit so this is from the user or employee's point of view 
And not only this, this similar activity can be done from the teams as well, right? Not only application. So for ease, this application can be embedded into the teams. So if you see, this is my teams and under teams in one channel, I have added this app, same thing. See, everything is same. Every uh, UI is same. So similar thing, they can click on request him annually from teams. They can follow the same process. I will not do that. Okay. So how to embed this into the teams? It is very easy. If you follow this embed a model driven apps at tab app in teams, you will be able to do that. But it is not that you don't need to you know, go to this uh, link as well. I can show you. So basically when you come to the channel, you can click on this plus option and you can select Power Apps. And from here, you can select model driven app and you can embed it. You can select that app from here. It will take some time. You can click click select it and it will be added like this right so that's how we can use this application in teams app we can approve it from teams we can request it from team whatever we can do from this application we, we can do everything from the teams as well okay so now what i have done i have uh, requested the leaves right so it is an annual leave right so i think i need to refresh this one Okay, so now this one has come Friday, sorry, this one, 18 December to 19 December. So this is how we request it, right? So now what we will see, we will uh, change the, so we will approve this, you know, leave from the teams. So now I have changed this to the approvers. So when the approver opens this in the teams, they will be able to see everything as per their leave, pending leave. And they will be able to approve it for their reportees. So now uh, the whole lot of leave balance has changed because this is for the approver. They can also see their leave balance. So if they want to approve it, they can click on this pending request. Even that this notification comes to the teams, notification goes to the you know email in Outlook and all. For that, you need to in, you know, in a, install the Microsoft uh, Flow. That is a separate uh, process. But uh, they can come here in the pending request. They can see, okay, view details. Right? And they can approve it. That's it. So this leave is approved. It, it was requested from the Power App. It can be requested from the Teams. It has been approved from the Teams is, as well. Right? So when all the things are done, so each and every change, it actually, you know, integrated into human resource module when I was showing this one, leave balance. So if I, you know, to change it to December, that might get changed, apply available balance it has been decreased so basically that is the overall functionality which user or employee used to do from this form in dynamic of finance and operation the same activity can be done either from teams or they can use mobile app as well or they can use it in a separate application which is this so it's basically a user interface which is which has become very easy uh, it is quite similar to the other, you know, application, leave and absence application within the market, which, uh, you know, it it's, looks like a very easy one. A graphical presentation is good. It is efficient. They can see the, you know, balance as per the leave bucket. They can request leave. They that the leave can be approved as well. Everything can be done. So that's, that's what it is all about. That's what I wanted to showcase about this new feature. Let's see. Uh, in future, maybe we can see, I don't know, uh, that is the assumption. Right now, we cannot buy or sell, leave, sell leaves from this application. We can only request leave. But if you see here, the leave can be bought or sold. That is still not there in this application. I'm hoping that can be done, but let's see. Okay. 
So that's it for this video. I hope you have liked it. Let's wait for the another, another video like this. Thank you so much.